Hey everybody, it is Dungeon Master Mark. So today we're going to do a slightly different uh, review type video. This one is over the new Terragon Terrain. I'll go ahead and show you the box here. So this is actually four sets of the Terragon Terrain. They actually have a Kickstarter. Uh, it's getting ready to end soon, so I'm going to put the link to that down below. Um, if you are someone who's looking for terrain that is very flexible, that you can set up rather quickly, travel with very easily. Obviously this is one box, this is four boxes, this one little, this one little display here. Um, it is very cost effective and is very kid friendly. This may be for you. So without further ado, let me show you one of their business cards in case you do want to look them up. Um, like I said, I'm going to link it down below in the description for the video as well. There we go. So essentially these are little tiles, little hex tiles that have rare earth magnets inside. So there you can see the earth magnets inside there. And of course they are uh, able to be magnetized so they stick together. Now by itself that does not really sound that exciting, I will grant you, but it is very flexible. Since they are, magne since they are magnetized they will stick together. You can rotate your gaming terrain, which is kind of nice. Um, say if you want to build this part separate, you want to have a little encounter. Like I said, since these are stackable, since they stick, if you want to change up your terrain, you know, say there's a tree here. That way you have the actual representation. That way, if some a new character comes into the combat. See, they just got off a boat and landed. Now you have a better representation. Now, if you want to say that you know this person all of a sudden gets higher up, maybe it's a taller tree. If the other person can't see from their view. You just rotate it and go on with your combat, right? Which is pretty nice. So let's say they come to a new encounter and we want to go ahead and merge this together. But say we want to remove these pieces, right? Just pull them apart. And let's say we need to hurry up and add something really, really on the fly. So let's go ahead and uh, do this real quick. And we have another little little cubby or little cove, right? And you can see how that kind of pulls itself together there. That way if we move that across the table, it stays together. Like I said, it's not completely locked. Like I said, you can pull it apart if you pull really, really hard. But like I said, the magnets are rather strong, especially for their size, which is one of the beauties about the rare earth magnets. So like, as far as I can tell, like I said, they come in a, a gray, or I should say like a light gray, almost like a marble. There's a more brown color for like dirt or maybe mountainous regions. You have the green. Oops, I get that one off there. And of course you have the blue for the water. And one thing I am thinking about doing, because my daughter's been playing with these, whoops, a great deal the last couple of days, is I thought about maybe even taking a couple, just trying to test them, like what happens if you put a little bit of flock on top of some of those. So, like I said, there's a lot of pretty interesting things you could do. Um, if you wanted to, you could definitely take the blue and maybe add a little bit of paint to the top. Maybe make like little, little waves with a feathered brush. And like I said, this all together was four sets. So bear with me one second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to do a couple just kind of little quick setups. The first one I'm going to do is probably going to be a waterfall. And then I want to show you kind of like a little like a cave entrance type setup. So I'll be right back. All right, folks. So here's the really, really quick cave entrance setup I just did with the Terragon terrain tiles. Like I said, it's kind of quick to the point. I like, see that way you have where the entrance is and you could even say that, you know, there's like a path that goes up from the hillside. And of course, maybe there's an ambush right here at the entrance. Of course, you have some different terrain heights. And then you got some uh, different heights inside the actual cavern itself. So maybe they get an advantage. Or if you're playing like Pathfinder, like a plus one from height if they're attacking, uh, I should say, an opponent that's lower than them. 
So yeah, like I said, definitely a really different um, kind of way to set things up. I mean, you can see where I just used some of the blue water tiles since I'm not going to be using those for water on this one. And of course, if you wanted to have a little bit like a, say, just like a little cavern pool, maybe we swap that out and then put a uh, piece of water in there. And voila, now there's a little pool of water. So like I said, definitely a very, very clever idea. Like I said, these are, I mean, damn near unbreakable. I mean, <laughs> I don't see where even small children will be able to break those. I mean, obviously you want to use common sense. You don't want you know babies playing with them. But uh, especially for teens or uh, younger kids, that you're afraid maybe having them use some of your expensive Dwarven Forge train. Very, very clever idea. All right, so give me one second. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stop this video real quick. And let me set up something a little bit different. Another little train setup I wanted to build for you. And I'll be right back. All right, and we are back. So for this build, I just wanted to do something to simulate not quite using as much of the higher train. So just more of the kind of like the simple layout. So here we have like a little path of water where it leads in the woods. It goes into a cave. And we'll just simulate this kind of like the muddy kind of dirt around the cave uh, pool, if you will. And then like a large granite cave. And then there's actually another little chamber on the other side that leads to like a little wooded area. I can just imagine these like really steep kind of like granite walls that go up. And then maybe there's some kind of treasure there. Maybe some type of plant creature. But yeah, like I said, you can definitely fit... I mean, you can see the size of my table. I mean, that's a pretty good size train setup that is extremely flexible. I mean, obviously, like I said, there's only four of these little sets. So, I mean, with four more, you could probably easily fill a whole table if you're not doing really, really large, um, or should say going horizontally and vertically a whole lot. So, but yeah, like I said, pretty good little product. Um, so definitely give that two thumbs up. Um, check out below. I'm going to put a link to their Kickstarter and their Facebook page. And I believe they have a website also, so I'm going to put a link to that. And as always, like I said, stay tuned. I'm going to try to do, there's a couple more things I want to do reviews on, a couple books and a couple other products. But hopefully this guy's helps. Um, like I said, it is going to be Christmas time soon. So definitely something to be considering if you have a young player or GM in your family. But yeah, thanks for watching, folks. I'll go ahead and get this uploaded as quick as I can. And I will see you all at the game table. Bye-bye.